Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.3858 for version 23H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have some improvements related to the file explorer and some new fixes if we open up the file explorer you're going to notice that the thin line between the tab and the navigation bar was removed and also when you have the taskbar buttons or icons set to combined when you have multiple tabs open you're going to notice if you hover over it we're going to have this new preview of the file explorer window you have opened up alongside with this title which states that you have a tab and the exact number of tabs that you have opened for example if i were to open multiple tabs you're going to see here i have the home tab opened and three more tabs and i think that is good if i were to change the taskbar settings to never combine we're going to notice that this will change the things a bit because that title will now be basically the name of the label and when i hover over it we're also going to see that pop up which says home and three more tabs in the file explorer so if you want to see this effect of course make sure to set your taskbar buttons to always combine so as stated by phantom machine 3 on twitter this was backported from windows 11 24 h2 so it's interesting to see it on the beta channel and on windows 11 23 h2 also inside the file explorer and in the share window we're going to notice that microsoft is doing some improvements and minor UI changes to simplify the window share window, which removes the search box. And I think this is looking pretty good. Also inside the settings app and for developers, if you have the end task button enabled and then you right click on an app, for example, and click on end task, Microsoft updated the logic for the end task option in the task board so that it no longer shows a not responding dialog to give confirmation before ending a task. Also Microsoft is working on the run box and right now the run box in Windows 11 will follow the text scaling that you can customize inside accessibility and then text size. So this should be the case. For example, if I raise it, you should see the change in the text scaling in the ROM box as well. Hopefully we will see some new improvements to the ROM box. For example, a dark mode ROM box will be pretty good. And I'm sure that shouldn't be as difficult for Microsoft to implement. But for me, that will be something really nice to be added. Also as discovered by Phantom Machine 3 on Twitter, in this build, we have this new continue from phone section in the OAP section in the start menu, which just runs in the background. And we also have a a short description of this from Phantom Machine 3. This is an executable that provides users with the convenience of resuming their work using the same file on OneDrive that they have been using on another device in the last few minutes while their PC was locked. I think this can also be a pretty interesting new addition. As I've said, related to the file explorer, Microsoft is also rolling out a lot of fixes. So I'm going to mention some of these things in the fixes section of the video. So as I've said, related to the file explorer, Microsoft addressed several accessibility issues where file explorer, common file dialog, browse, and shortcuts dialogues did not respond appropriately for your text size. Also address several accessibility issues in File Explorer impacting screen reader users. Also fix an issue causing some people to see a thin line between the tab and address bar in File Explorer. Fix an issue impacting File Explorer reliability for a small number of people. And also fix an issue where the OneDrive icon in the address bar was blurry sometimes for some people. We also have a fix for voice typing. Fix an issue believed to be the underlying cause of some insiders seeing errors when attempting to use voice typing in certain languages such as Chinese with recent flights. Also related to the taskbar, Microsoft updated the app icon flashing in the taskbar to be a bit easier to see. And some other general fixes, for example, they fixed an issue where GPUs did not enter the idle state that stops them from consuming power. Related to the snipping tool app, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you used it to record videos on some PCs, the audio would have distortions. And these are pretty much all the most interesting fixes from this build. Of course, there are more, but you can check out the full list of that in the article below in the video description, alongside with the known issues for this build. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.